Okay, we've got a few jobs to do. One on the LT, one on the T4. Let's go take a look. So first off is the LT, the idler pulley's making a rumble. Easy swap out replacement with a 13 mil nut. Whip off the drive belt, swap the pulley, drive belt back on. So a top tip for the drive belts is to draw out the belts and the pulleys onto a piece of paper. That way you'll remember which way the belt gets rooted through and around the pulleys that you've got on your engine. So to finally get the belt on you need to pull over your tensioner. That takes the slack out of the belt for you to be able to get it over the last pulley. And when you release that, your belt should be all nice and tight. Make sure the ribs are all lined up and make sure that the belt is center to your pulleys. Okay, next job. Swapping out a double passenger for a single. I've got a driver's side seat and we're gonna move the buckle over to the other side, making it a passenger. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the seat. This come with the van. The guy was going to swap his driver's seat out, which is a bit knackered for this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this seat as a passenger seat. Now, obviously, the problem is, is this is on the right hand side. So I need to remove this seat buckle to this side. This is a later seat from a T4. I believe the earlier seats are different. Don't quote me, but I think they are. So all we need to do is undo this, transfer this to this side, and then I've got a single passenger seat. So it's just the one bolt to remove, pull the buckle off, swap it over, put it on the other side, tighten it up. So as you can see here, we've got a circle and on this plate, there's a little knuckle that the circle lives in. This helps you locate the seatbelt buckle. That's all done up nice and tight. I've now got a passenger seat. Seat swap time. Got my single, lovely fancy blue, doesn't look like the ink pattern we've got in here already. But here's me double. I'm gonna swap this out, get a single in there. That gives me that adjustment to be able to slide seat forwards and backwards. We've got some 15 mil nuts that we need to take off. We'll get them out, pull the seat backwards into the van, bring it out the side door. seat removed so the studs we have left we only need four of them which are these two and those two this one's redundant that's redundant also and get the passenger seated now see uh, how that's gonna line up Okay, so it really is as simple as that. The space we've got now that we can actually walk through if we need to. And as you can see, the original bolt fixings all line up lovely with the seat. As we said, this one's redundant. This is redundant also. Yeah, I'm not too fussed, but uh, Worst case is, we'll get rid of those if I feel the need. So now it's just a case of getting those nuts back on, tighten her down, and we're good to go. OK, 
Okay, so whereas before I would struggle to get a 2.5 meter sheet of material in, I can now move the seat forward and I've got this extra space now to be able to get my materials. So that's this job done, on to the next. Okay, what we're going to look at is the T4 again. We've got a potential pressurising issue on the coolant side of the system. So, I've got myself a replacement cap. Now, old school V-dubs, sometimes the cap can be the issue. Sometimes the header tank itself can split. Sometimes it's thermostat, sometimes it's a leaking radiator. So, what we're going to do is we're first off going to swap this cap and see if that resolves the issue. If it doesn't, then we'll work our way through the system. So let's go get this swapped. Anyone that knows T4s knows exactly what this is. This is a clutch bracket. So this fits on the clutch pedal and also bolts through the firewall of the van. This is a reinforcement part and this is made out of stainless steel and uh, I'll show you where it goes okay so this here is the bottom of your clutch pedal this housing supports this piston here this can break so what's added is this bracket this bracket will live something like so so there's a bolt here in the bulkhead. This needs to come out. These two come out and this gets put in its place. This reinforces this because if this breaks, it's an expensive repair. So let's get this fitted. So the location for this bolt that goes through the bulkhead is actually tucked in just below the brake servo so uh, it can be a bit awkward to get to it's much easier on a 1.9 uh, the 2.5 is a much more challenging experience um, but yeah we get this out all's well in the world it's then a case of removing the two bolts that will then give us uh, the ability to put in the bracket and bolt that down This bit can be a bit fiddly using one hand while the camera's with the other, but we get there in the end. Bolts in. Tighten it up, good to go. job on the T4 today is to install a new check strap. This one had snapped in the wind with the previous owner. I've got a replacement, we're going to get it fitted. Let's go. So the cover for the handle comes off and there's three screws behind that. Remove the lock pull, remove the window winder and also the screw that's in the side of the door card at the front. The card should then slide off from the bottom upwards. Next is two 10mm bolts holding in the strap. Remove the broken part, slide in the new one. 
that's then bolted back in with the terminal bolts. And then line up a nut and bolt the other end of the strap into the A-post. You'll probably find that the first time you try and push the door closed will be stiff. After a couple of times it will get a lot easier and then act as normal. Job done. Excellent stuff. So T4 sorted for now. Next up on the T4 will be gear stick extension plus a short shift mod. For me personally that makes a world of difference for the driving experience. The, the LT and the T4 have got their OOTs coming up soon so it'll be interesting to see what we find for them. Uh, for the T4 I'm expecting a bit more work so uh, let's wait and see. If you've enjoyed this do hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below if you're not already and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.